What's up guys, Eric Vasquez here from teachmedesign.com and today I'm going to show you how you can take an ordinary photo and transform it into a cool oil smudge painting in Photoshop. First thing that you want to do is uh, open up an image and we're going to make a copy of it by pressing Command J on the keyboard. Next, uh, you want to crop it to try and get your, your composition to feel, you know, nice and balanced. I'm going to, you know, try to get it so that her face is kind of in the center of the image like that. Okay, from here, uh, what you want to do is go to Image, Adjustments, Shadows, Highlights. And we're going to try to start to bring out some of the, uh, the detail in the image here. So, um, what we're doing is, is basically pulling highlights out of these shadow areas. Um, like you can see here as it's you know changing as I turn on and off the preview uh, But once you're happy with that go ahead and click OK and The next thing that we're going to do from here is add a black and white adjustment layer So click on the adjustment layer icon Go to black and white and then we're going to choose overlay for the blending mode and set the opacity to about 30 or 40 percent like so All right, then hold down the shift key Select both of those layers and press Command E to merge. And then we're going to come up to Filter, Filter Gallery, and we're going to do uh, Paint Daubs for this, just so we can get kind of like a get some texture going in here. And you want to leave leave the uh, brush size pretty small so that you get you know finer details, and leave the sharpness relatively high. All right. So now you'll see already we've got you know a much brighter and sharper and higher uh, higher detailed image. So from here, we can start going in, and we're gonna grab our smudge tool. And what we're gonna do with the smudge tool is make sure that the strength is set to around 60 or 65%, um, and leave these two other boxes unchecked, the one that says sample all layers and finger painting. I was actually using this one before. You want something a little more dense. I'm using the round, rough round bristle. All right, so let's just stick with that for now. All I'm doing is kind of coming in and uh, starting to go over, you know, the hair and, and kind of smudge all these areas out, um, you know, to, to start to get that effect. So you want to zoom in pretty closely while you do this. And, you know, you don't have to worry too much about the, the background right now. You know, my main focus is on the hair and the face, right? And what I would advise you guys to do is to kind of follow... Uh, the direction of the hair as best as you can, right? And it's okay if you don't do, if you don't do every stroke in one click, you know, one long stroke. But you kind of see I'm going over it a few times here, which is fine. The nice thing is that we have um, that we have a copy of this layer, so that we can always go back to the original if we need to or if we mess anything up. Um, but what this does is kind of lengthen some of the strokes and some of the details and um, while also, you know, simultaneously blurring it a bit. Okay. So this is just, you know, going over the whole image. You can see me working here. There's a lot of hair, um, but it, you know, that's kind of what creates this cool looking effect when you have a lot of uh, sharp details like this. So I'm just going to uh, speed it up for a sec and make my way through the hair and the rest of the face as you guys uh, follow along. So once you have uh, you know most of that smudged, you'll see I haven't done too much with the background yet because uh, we're going to be kind of blurring it a little bit later on. Um, but for now, the main thing is that we have started to smudge this. So I'm going to go ahead and press Command J to make another copy of this layer, and then come up to Filter, Oil Paint. Now from here, we're going to set these settings, which you want to leave pretty high as far as the stylization and uh, cleanliness. And for the scale, you know, you can feel free to play around with that however uh, you like, but I kind of like it at a, at a lower setting. And then the bristle detail is going to be high. 
Um, you can also play around with the, the shine and the angular direction as well. But once you get something you're happy with, just go ahead and click OK to apply that. And then from there, we're going to zoom in and we're going to uh, continue to smudge once again to kind of blend some of these uh, strokes so they're not all uh, totally you know, hard lines and hard edges and things like that. All right, guys, and then once you've got most of the smudging done, um, you can just turn that layer on and off to kind of see what you had before. And then we're going to just select both of those while holding the Shift key and merge them together. All right, and from here, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is a little bit of um, masking. So go ahead and click the Add Layer Mask button down here, and then select your brush tool with a low opacity, maybe around 20%, and change the foreground color to black. And now we're just going to click to bring a little bit of the, the regular eye in because we don't want it to be... Uh, totally distorted and smudged. We want to bring a little bit of that original detail back into the image before we proceed. Alright, so something like that. Just enough. Okay, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and apply that layer mask. And once again, uh, what we're going to do now is actually add um, a gray layer that we can do some dodging and burning with. So um, right down here where you have the create new layer icon, Hold down the Alt Option key and then click that. Change the color to gray, the blending mode to overlay, and then check off this box that says Fill with Overlay Neutral Color, 50% uh, gray. And what that's going to do is set the blending mode to overlay, of course, and then it's setting it to a, a neutral gray so that we can't really see uh, the effect of, of um, you know, the fill layer itself. However, uh, once we begin to paint with a low opacity black brush, um, that's going to have a very similar effect to a, a burn. All right, and um, you know, or using the white brush um, will basically be like dodging the image. So what you want to do is with your black selected, just kind of go over some of the darker areas to, uh, you know, kind of make the shadows recede a little bit more. Um, and this is going to add a lot of depth to the image. So just kind of going in, you know, under the neck, a little bit of the shadow on the shoulder area, and um, a lot of these little spots, you know, in between the hair. And then we're going to grab white. And we're going to use, again, a low opacity brush. And we're just going to kind of go over the eyes, maybe a little bit on the lips, just to make them pop out, as well as the, the hair. And what I like to do is kind of start with a large brush and then, you know, reduce it to a smaller size for the more detailed areas. Um, so I think that, that tends to work really well um, for getting, you know, finer details uh, with each pass. So again, just using that large brush and then you know, changing the size um, and making it a little bit smaller to get some of the more uh, detailed areas. All right, and you'll kind of see, you know, what it's doing here. It's really making the highlights pop out in the hair. Um, so you can get as, you know, as fine, as fine detailed with this as you want, but um, you don't want to make it too crazy, but, you know, enough where it really uh, starts to come to life. You know, it's a really cool technique, especially when you combine it with, you know, the oil uh, painting and the smudging techniques. You know, and something like that. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Um, just turn that layer on and off so you guys can see the uh, result of the dodge and burn. And then I'm going to select the layer below again and merge it. Oh, sorry. I'm not going to merge it actually because it's doing something weird to the eyes. Um, instead, I'm going to come down here to the adjustment layer icon. And what we're going to do is add a black and white adjustment layer. This time, uh, change the blending mode of that layer to luminosity. And now what we can do is kind of control the individual colors in the image. So we have, you know, the reds, which we're going to make around, I have it set to around negative 19. Um, you also can control the yellows. Um, it, it targets the individual colors in the image, which is pretty cool. All right, something like that. You can see the effect of that. But now that we have that, we're actually going to change the blending mode to overlay and reduce it to maybe around, you know, 30% or something like that. Let's try like maybe 20%. 20 or 30, somewhere in that range. All right, and then I'm going to select these three layers, the black and white adjustment layer, the dodge and burn layer, and then our smudge layer. Select them all and press Command-G to put them into a group folder. 
All right, and from here you can turn that on and off so you can kind of see the, the results so far of what we've got. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is press Command J to duplicate that folder and Command E to merge it. I don't worry about the eyes right here. I know she looks super creepy like she's, you know, got lights coming out of her eyes. We're gonna uh, get rid of that in a sec. So um, select that merged layer and then come up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. All right, we're gonna put a pretty high blur nothing crazy, maybe around 20, 20 or so pixels and hit OK. And now come down to the layer mask icon and hold down the Alt Option key and then click. What that's going to do is um, instead of basically all that does is, you know, if I were to normally add a layer mask like this, it would be filled with white. So I would be painting everything that I want to hide um, by using a black brush like this, right? But instead, um, what I'm doing by holding down the Alt Option key is that it automatically fills uh, the layer mask with black. So now I use the white, <clears throat> excuse me, I use white to kind of paint out um, all of the areas that I want to blur. So this is where I'm going to blur the background. <coughs> this is where I'm going to blur the background as well as, you know, some of the edges of the hair. And this will just help, you know, keep the focus um, kind of on the face and the skin. Uh, where we want it to be in the hair. Alright, so it gives you some nice soft edges because, you know, most paintings, especially in, in master paintings, you know, it's, it's really kind of about finding a balance between those hard and soft edges. Alright, so now we've got that. I'm going to put that all in a group folder. I'm just going to title this Smudge Painting. And then we have our original layer below. Oops. I can spell, I promise. All right, and then I'm going to turn that on and off again so you guys can see what we've got. All right, and then um, if you wish, you know, you can uh, also come back here and uh, maybe apply, let's see, what else can we apply? We can merge that together and then come down to Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. And we can play with these settings as well to get, you know, more of a, a sharper uh, result. And go ahead and click OK. Obviously, the eyes are looking super creepy again, so I'm just going to add a layer mask and then, uh, you know, paint some of that out on the eyes. All right, and then you can come in if you want to and add another uh, dodge and burn to to push any areas further. I just wanted to go over the the eyes one more time. To make them a little bit lighter like that. All right, and there you go, guys. That's that's pretty much the effect. Um, I noticed that her her chin is looking a little bit weird at the moment. I think when I was smudging it, you know, got a little messed up. Um, so I'm just going to merge all those layers together and come in here really quick and just touch up a last, you know, a couple of these last little details here. Um, some of the edges kind of have this halo effect, um, so I'm just going to crop it a little bit more to get rid of that. Okay. All right, and you can also, you know, you can come in, you can uh, desaturate it a little bit if you like that kind of look, or maybe boost the saturation to make it like a little more colorful. Um, maybe somewhere around there. Just doing a little bit of a desaturation, just something pretty, uh, pretty subtle. Then I'm going to merge those together, and make one more copy. And I'm going to correct the chin by going to Filter Liquify. Now, I showed this in one of uh, my previous videos, um, but you can actually use something called the Freeze Mask tool once you have the Liquify tool open. And what this is going to let you do is select all the areas that you don't want to touch with the uh, Liquify option. So I'm basically trying to get everything around the chin because I'm happy with everything else. Okay, it's really just this area in here that I want to uh, push in a little bit. All right, so I'm using the freeze mask, I'm coming in here, and that way I'm only going to affect the chin a little bit. Okay, and then go ahead and hit OK. Yeah, I think I did a, a pretty bad job on that one. I'm going to try it one more time, just a little bit more. Uh, Maybe zooming in will help a little bit. 
you know, nothing crazy. You just want to make it look like a more smooth, natural curve like that. And there you go, guys. That's the effect of our uh, oil smudge painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, subscribe on YouTube, give us a thumbs up, or leave a comment below. And uh, go ahead and sign up for our email list, guys, and be the first to know whenever we put out new content. And you can also receive our free ebook, uh, Essential Photoshop Tutorials, a Starter Guide. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.